Welcome back to Panda Movie Recaps. In today's installment, I'll be delving into the 20 Housing 20 horror thriller, The Super Deep. Spoiler alert. Proceed with caution. In 1984, Anna Fedorova, an epidemiologist, grapples with the consequences of a vaccine trial gone awry, leading to the loss of her research associate. Torn by guilt, Anna contemplates shutting down the project, but Colonel Yuri Morozov intervenes, emphasizing its crucial importance in Africa. Fast forward to New Year's Eve, and Anna is celebrated for her swift vaccine development. Morozov interrupts the festivities with a special mission related to the Kola Superdeep borehole. Strange occurrences and disappearances prompt their intervention. Anna accompanied by Morozov and a military team, faces challenges, including a scientist's explosive escape. On site, Anna discovers peculiarities in the deceased scientist's body, marked by a red glow and disintegration of collected samples. Evacuation efforts reveal the station's dire situation, with hints of a more ominous threat than a mere disease. Anna, determined to uncover the truth, faces resistance from head scientist Grigoriev, who discloses minimal information. The team descends into the depths of the super-deep borehole, encountering unexpected challenges, including a malfunctioning elevator. Grigoriev's questionable actions raise suspicions, leading to a divided group. The journey reveals the existence of a secluded facility where remaining staff members, Nikolai and Kira, reside. With Grigoriev's escape and strategic planning evident, Anna grapples with the mystery of the infection's source. The story unfolds with soldiers exploring lower levels through forced open shafts, discovering Olga Krylova, a lab assistant, exhibiting signs of sickness. As tensions rise, Grigoriev urges Anna to prioritize human lives, creating a moral dilemma. The narrative intensifies as soldiers prepare to descend into the heated depths, encountering unexpected developments. The stakes escalate and Grigoriev's escape adds to the enigma. The team faces challenges, prompting strategic decisions that impact their quest for the truth. The Super Deep's plot thickens, blending horror, mystery, and moral quandaries. Join me as we navigate the twists and turns of the Super Deep, uncovering the layers of suspense, deception, and the unknown lurking beneath the surface. Stay tuned for the unraveling of this gripping tale, filled with eerie discoveries and the relentless pursuit of answers in the abyss. As the elevator descends to the lowest level, Nikolai struggles to reach the brakes lever due to the intense pressure. Anna, realizing the urgency, intervenes and successfully pulls the lever just in time, ensuring a safe landing. The frost-covered environment surprises the group, and a recorded message sheds light on the mold's vulnerability to cold. The scientist speculates that the Ice Age may have kept the mold dormant underground for an extended period. With this newfound information, the group navigates the frost-covered rooms and corridors. The facility's eerie silence and frozen surroundings create an unsettling atmosphere as they explore. Nikolai, determined to find a solution, suggests using the facility's resources to create a cold environment and eradicate the mold. Anna supports the idea, emphasizing the urgency of their situation. While Morozov and Piotr work on implementing Nikolai's plan, Anna discovers additional information about the mold's origins and behavior. The recorded messages reveal the extent of Grigoriev's deception, emphasizing the severity of the threat they face. The group grapples with the consequences of Grigoriev's actions and the impending danger within the facility. As they delve deeper into the frozen recesses, the group encounters remnants of the facility's past experiments and the impact of the mold on the environment. The recordings hint at the desperate attempts to contain the mold and the sacrifices made by the facility's personnel. Each revelation adds layers to the complexity of their predicament. Meanwhile, the soldiers who went down the shaft continue to face the menacing entity. The relentless pursuit and attacks escalate the tension, and the soldiers confront the harsh reality of their situation. 
The group in the elevator remains unaware of the soldier's plight, focused on implementing the plan to combat the mold. Nikolai's engineering skills prove crucial as he manipulates the facility's systems to create a controlled, cold environment. The group witnesses the gradual impact on the mold, providing a glimmer of hope. However, challenges arise and tensions flare as they grapple with the limited resources and the relentless pursuit of the entity. In the midst of their struggle, Anna receives a distressing call from the soldiers, revealing their dire circumstances. The entity's attacks intensify, and the soldiers' survival hangs in the balance. Anna, torn between the immediate threat and the ongoing efforts to combat the mold, faces a critical decision that will impact the group's fate. As the facility's shutdown deadline looms, the group races against time to confront the dual challenges of the entity and the mold. The unfolding events test their resilience, alliances, and determination to survive. The frozen labyrinth becomes a battleground where the fight for survival intertwines with the mysteries of the facility's dark history. The narrative reaches a climactic juncture with the group's fate hanging in the balance. Will they overcome the relentless entity and eradicate the mold, or will the frozen depths become their final resting place? The answers unfold in a gripping tale of survival, deception, and the chilling consequences of tampering with the unknown. Inevitably, the mold creature within the permafrost will realize the limits of its icy prison, potentially escaping as it has adapted to melding bodies for warmth and power. The absence of survivors becomes evident as the group discovers a colossal amalgamation of melted bodies, a macabre testament to the mold's lethal embrace of cold. Morozov, donning the last available suit, ventures into the scorching 200-degree environment to retrieve the elevator key from Grigoriev. During Morozov's absence, Anna urges Nikolai and Pyotr to keep the mold's existence secret upon their return to the surface, fearing that knowledge of it would attract more investigators and jeopardize humanity. Nikolai agrees, but Pyotr, driven by aspirations of fame, hesitates. When Morozov's return is delayed, Anna, determined to expedite the process, ventures into the blistering zone without protection, enduring visible bodily harm. She discovers Morozov dead due to Grigoriev's sabotage, but secures the crucial elevator key. As Anna returns, Nikolai attempts to aid her, but Pyotr shoots him, seeking the key for himself. Anna hands over the key, and Pyotr takes the second elevator, holding them at gunpoint. However, upon reaching the resort level, they confront the grotesque entity from the shaft, an amalgamation of infected staff. In a struggle for survival, Anna cleverly utilizes freezing water to lower her body temperature, thwarting the mold's infectious power. She retrieves the elevator key and escapes the creature. Anna and Nikolai, pursued by the monstrous entity, reach the elevator, narrowly escaping its clutches. To their astonishment, Sergei, now infected, is also aboard the elevator. The trio grapples for control, and in a surprising turn, Sergei sacrifices himself, using a bone protrusion to neutralize Nikolay. Anna, weakened by infection, endeavors to input the correct code, ensuring the elevator reaches the surface. As the elevator initiates a self-destruct sequence, Anna struggles against her deteriorating condition. The vehicle ascends, narrowly avoiding annihilation. Upon reaching the surface, Anna, surrounded by a new rescue team, seizes the opportunity to escape. In a daring move, she pilfers a grenade from the soldiers, disembarks from the vehicle, and, encountering arriving scientists, detonates the grenade, concluding the narrative with a dramatic and enigmatic resolution.